Hey kids, welcome back to Santa Eva Secrets Online! Dios les bendiga niños, qué gusto que puedan estar viendo este video, ya sea en casita o ahí en la iglesia. Este fin de semana es un fin de semana muy especial. Celebramos Easter, we celebrate eh, Easter, el domingo de resurrección. Pero antes de comenzar la alabanza y aprender de la palabra de Dios en este día, quiero felicitar a los cumpleaños del mes de marzo. Los siguientes cumpleaños del mes, del mes de marzo son los siguientes. Liam Zamora, que cumplió años el primero de marzo. Matthew Bonilla, el segundo de marzo y cumplió tres años. Alfredo Saiz Sánchez, el 4 de marzo. Marina Pineda, bienvenida Marina a la clase de 3 a 5 años. Cumplió años el 8 de marzo. Anthony Celaya, que está todavía en Salacuna, cumplió dos años el 10 de marzo. Madison Amaya cumplió el 12 de marzo. Briana Coyoy el 13 de marzo. Dylan Fuentes, que cumplió tres años y pasa la clase de 3 a 5 el 14 de marzo. Y Sayana Castillo el 27 de marzo. Y Yariana a Maya el 31 de marzo. Muchas felicidades a ustedes. Yo sé que lo celebraron con su familia. I know you enjoy your birthday. I hope you got uh, several presents and you really had a good time. God bless you. And now we go into worship and the lesson. Hey guys, welcome back to another video. I hope that all of you guys are having an amazing blessed week and are ready for what we have for you guys today. But before I go on, I want to say happy Good Friday or happy Easter. So I don't know what if you guys know what Good Friday is or what Easter is exactly. And it's not when we celebrate the bunny, no. It's when we celebrate the death of Jesus and when he resurrected. So on Good Friday, we celebrate that when Jesus died on the cross for us to forgive our sins and become the ultimate sacrifice from God. And then on Easter, we celebrate when Jesus resurrected and all of him was gone. He's the only person that has resurrected. And he went to heaven with his father. So now he is in heaven and he has resurrected. And this gets me to the topic that Jesus is alive. Jesus is always alive. He's been alive and he will always forever be alive. So now that you guys know a little bit more about Easter and Good Friday, I want you guys to stand up. Get ready, wiggle around, because we're going to get right into worship, and I'll see you guys when we get back. In the beginning was the Word, and the Word was with God, and the Word was God. He was with God in the beginning. Through Him all things were made. Without Him nothing was made that has been made. In Him was life, and that life was the light of all mankind. The light shines in the darkness and the darkness cannot overcome it. Peace, bring it all to peace. The storm surrounding me, let it break at your name. The sea to still, the rage in me to still every wave at your name, Jesus, Jesus, you make the darkness tremble, Jesus, Jesus, you silence fear, Jesus, Jesus, you make the darkness tremble. Bones to live, 
and high and deep is the love of Christ. Ephesians 3, 18. All right, a little faster, okay? Hope you guys are ready. How wide and long and high and deep is the love of Christ. Ephesians 3, 18, all right? So now we're gonna do the Spanish version, okay? So, vamos a abrir los brazos así y decir, cuán ancho, después por arriba y abajo, y largo, vamos a saltar un poco, alto, y después vamos a poner nuestras manos en las rodillas, y profundo, nos vamos a dar un gran abrazo, es el amor, y vamos a, a ver arriba, es Cristo. Y vamos a hacer una Biblia, Efesios 3, 18. ¿Ok? Un poco más rápido. Cuán ancho y largo, alto y profundo es el amor de Cristo. Efesios 3, 18. Una vez más, ¿ok? Cuán ancho y largo, alto y profundo es el amor de Cristo. Efesios 3, 18. So I hope that you guys continue to practice this verse throughout the whole week and throughout the rest of the month. And I hope that you enjoy the lesson that Miss Zari has for us. Hi, good morning, you guys. Thank you so much, Abby, for being able to show us the Bible verse for this month of April. And I hope you guys are ready to learn the lesson for today. So maybe you guys know or maybe you guys don't, but today we are celebrating a special event. Do you guys know what it is that we're celebrating? No? Okay. Well, if you do, that's good. And if you don't, it's okay because I'll show you guys what it is that we're celebrating today. So, let me ask you guys a question. Do you guys know what this is? Okay. Yes, it's a heart. Do you guys know what the heart means or what it represents? So, most times when we see a heart, we think about love. So, the celebration that we have for today it's all about love, but about the love that God has for us. So, I want you guys to stand up really quick. And I'm going to stand up too, I think. Um, so, I want you guys to reach up to the sky. Reach up to the sky. And that's how high God's love goes for you. Well, even higher than this. So, as high as a mountain, as high as a kite can go in the sky, as an airplane can go in the sky. Now put your arms down. Now, I want you guys to put your arms to the side like this. Stretch them out. Now God's love is this wide, probably even wider. So if you have long arms, he loves you so much. <laughs> okay, you can't see with my arms, but they're there. Okay, so God loves you that much, going left and right, going upwards to the sky. Now I want you to touch your toes. I'm gonna touch my toes, but you might see them, but okay, I'm touching my toes. So I'm touching my toes. So God's love goes way deep, deeper than the ground, deeper than the water that we see in the beach. So I guess you can say that God loves us so much. So he loves us higher than an airplane can go, wide as our arms can go and deeper deeper than the water in the ocean or in beaches or wherever it is that you go see water so god loves us so much and he loves us so much that he gave us his son jesus as a friend that we can have forever did you guys know that that we have a friend that we can have forever until we're old until we have gray hairs until you know our backs start hurting so before we get to this good news of being able to have a friend forever which is jesus we have to learn about something that happened way before and even though it's good and it's great to know that we have a friend that's forever something kind of sad happened before he was able to be our friend forever so please pay attention so before jesus was able to be our friend forever the story starts with Jesus having dinner with his friends. 
so you know they're probably eating some really good food pizza spaghetti um grape juice and at the dinner with all his friends jesus told them that i'm going to leave but don't worry because i will be back and his friends were probably like hmm where is he going what does he mean that he's going to leave and he's going to come back his friends were kind of you know they were kind of worried they didn't understand what he was saying but jesus said again i'm going to leave but then i'm going to come back and he was telling them, you know it's okay stay calm don't worry so after the dinner after eating so much delicious food jesus went to the garden and he started praying he started praying and he started talking to God. And while he was praying, some people, some very angry people, they went to him and they started hitting him. They started um, hurting him and they took him away like a prisoner. They took him away like as if he were a bad guy. But we know that Jesus isn't a bad guy. So the people hit him so much. The people didn't like him. And Within that same day, Jesus ended up dying. So this was all sad news because his friends loved him so much. There was a lot of people that knew him that loved him so much. And to hear that he was gone, to hear that people were treating him bad, no one likes hearing that. So okay, let's make a sad face. Let's imagine how it is that his friends were. They're probably crying or they're cheeks were droopy they're probably crying all night all day because that's their friend so Jesus he was put into a tomb and they covered it with a big heavy rock so they put his body inside and they put a big rock in front of it so no one could try to look at his body or try to go inside or try to talk you know to him even though you know he wasn't alive anymore and uh, three days later three days passed by so let's count one two three so three days passed by and Jesus friends went back to where he was buried and they were surprised because that heavy stone that they had covering where Jesus was it was moved out the way so they were like who was able to move this big heavy rock? Where is the body? Because Jesus wasn't there anymore. And then that's when Jesus appeared to his friends. And Jesus told them, I told you guys I was going to come back. And some people were shocked. Can you make a shocked face? They're like, Jesus, you're back. Uh, we miss you. You know, some people couldn't believe that it was him. But Jesus was like, it's me. I told you guys that I was going to come back. So then the people were no longer sad. They were no longer crying. But they were happy. They were so happy to see their friend Jesus back and alive. So Jesus was back. He was alive. And he did exactly what he told his friends what he was going to do. Let me see your happy faces. Show your teeth. So your dimples. So these people were really happy. So this is why we celebrate Easter. Um, whether it's Sunday when you're watching this or Friday or Saturday, we celebrate Easter because we celebrate the love that God has for us. Like with this heart, the love that God has for us by giving us a friend that we can have forever, which is Jesus. So that is why we're celebrating Easter. Easter is all about the love that God has for us and by giving us a best friend to have forever. So, repeat after me. Jesus is my friend forever. One more time. Jesus is my friend forever. Okay, so I hope you guys learned something new. You guys know that we have a friend named Jesus and he is our friend forever forever so i want you guys to close your eyes and we're going to pray so thank you god for allowing us to be at church once again and those that are at home i ask 
that you allow them to also be able to share this video with their mom or dad for them to know about the good news that we have a friend named Jesus and he wants to be our friend forever. And may we understand that God loves us so much that his love for us is higher than any mountain, wider than our arms, and it goes deeper than the water and the ocean. Amen. So I hope to see you guys soon and I hope you guys enjoy the lesson. Risen, he's